Um, thank you for the two dollars. Like it's kind of egotistical as well, you know, musical. Imagine thinking that uh, it's the beard color that's my problem, you know. But it is. Thank you for the two dollars. Can you guess how many pay per view buys your channel brings? No. My channel brings to the UFC or if I was to do my own event. I think if I did my own event, I could get at least a couple thousand buys. Depends on the price, though. You know I mean, if it was a low price, it could be more. So the UFC. I think I add some few thousand pay-per-view buys every card. With I, I, I think I can get people hyped about events that add different... Like, yes or no, chat, I'd fucking single-handedly, if Adesanya would have... No, if Ian Gary would have shown up to Vicente Luque, I kind of fucking doubled the interest in that fight. Did I not? Right? Like before that fight was like, ah, oh, it's Luque, Gary, whatever. There's no beef. There's no heat. There's no nothing. But then I added hype to Adesanya Strickland as well. Like I put something on the line if one of them loses, basically, is what I do. That's typically what I'm quite good at. As Dana Pork, what are you going to do day one as UFC boss? Fuck me, I'm going to leave it. Yeah. I meant, what would you do to make the sport better? Allow knees to a grounded opponent. Punish fighters who don't take fights with beating. He actually had a bit of voice breaking in that. Definitely alcohol voice that he had. Don't let no one get this close. Can you say hi to my girlfriend? <laughs> Thank you very much for the two Canadian dollars. I'm so excited for UFC 300. I can't wait to see Holly Holm hold someone up at the fence. Just remember the Marab versus Yan. That was a good one, yeah? <laughs> Don't ever bring that fight up ever again in my fucking chat. You'll be banned. Probably. Thank you for the $5, Guru. Can I get a shout out to my friend, Ted Kaczynski? He was a big fan of yours. He sadly passed away. Why am I shouting him out then if he's dead? Shout out, Ted Kaczynski. Thank you for the $2, friends. Thank you for the 10, 19 months of membership, 4 a.m. streams. As per, you're a madman, Guru. Keep up the good work and congrats on 150K. Thank you, NP Music. I really appreciate the 19 months of membership. You don't know how hard that is to be a women's fighter. Eh? I'm kiss your nail, man. Can I be real with you, chat? Now there's less donation spam. We just got to have some general conversation. Yes or no? Israel Adesanya saw my body reveal and was somewhat annoyed by it. Please admit that there was definitely that moment for him. I bet you anything he was hoping and praying I was a five foot two spherical little creature. And I bet you anything, say ego all you want. I bet you he saw it on Twitter and went like that. I bet you anything he did. I bet you he wished. Not, not like enough to be genuinely angry, but genuinely a bit of just a slight annoyance that I wasn't what he kind of wanted me to be. I think that's true. Because I think most MMA fighters saw the reveal if they're on Twitter, and he definitely is on Twitter. Because I see him now and again in little comment sections here and there. Thank you for the $1 gangster racing. Appreciate you. Definitely did. He don't know you. Oh, really? Okay, that's enough. He definitely does. Jeff Molina liked your body reveal. Okay. Disgusting behavior. Thank you for the $2, dude. Let me finish pouring this drink. Hold on now. Impression of Guru freaking out because 300 sucks. <laughs> Sorry. My neighbors must think I'm a fucking retard. Jesus Christ. <whistles> you are a tard. Okay. Not just Izzy. I was annoyed too. You weren't supposed to be a perfect male. Okay, calm down. I need to lose more weight around the belly. As soon as I got abs, I can have a bit of a V taper. Cool. I'm going to fucking mog. Watched Game Bread Bare Knuckle. It's pretty good. No, I haven't yet. Thank you for the $2. I haven't watched it yet, no. Thank you for the $5. I think everyone was shocked and disappointed that you weren't a short, fat, and on a wheelchair. I saw that from everyone there. It's like they expected me to be way, way shorter. I feel like everyone thought I was going to be way shorter. 
once you get abs this game over, dude, I know. And I got decent genetics for it as well, so I just need to lose the body fat. My abs are very blocky. Impression of Tio finally outliving his children. Um, I don't know. Thank you for the two dollars. Can Manel Cap actually be a star? No. No, he can't. Yes, he can. The superstar that we need. Yes. You're legit six foot. Oh, yeah. And Drickus is 5'8, yeah. You have to learn genetics for abs, much face. Don't know what that means. Um, I've had abs for 30 years. Good for you, Tim Denham, 40 year old man. You know, I've never had abs. I've always had a layer of chub. I've had like a two pack, nearly a four pack before. You're loud. Okay. Max will bock Justin's eyeballs shut. Okay. Uh, thank you for the eight Australian dollars. Do you agree with DC saying Jim Miller doesn't deserve to be in Hall of Fame? I think that's retarded. I think that's retarded. Um, I, I Listen, I think we're in a position now, chat, yes or no, where we're going to have the majority of Hall of Famers made. Don't you think, chat? We're in a sad position now where the majority of Hall of Famers are going to be in now. There might be more Hall of Famers by the end of this year than there will be for the next 50. You know what I mean? Like, because it's going to be so much harder to go for 16 years in the UFC from now on. You know, there's so many veterans now, more than there's ever going to be. We're not going to see a veteran Chase Hooper or a, you know... Bad take? No, I don't think it's a bad take. I think it's a good. I think it's a good take. We're getting out the bulk of uh, Hall of Famers now. You know, he's the all-time leader in wins. He's the all-time leader in wins. Not fifty years, sorry, not fifty, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> Gaethje Holloway isn't main event, and if it is, then it's UFC three hundred is trash. Yeah, you're just a fucking hater. It's a sick fucking fight, and I'm okay with it. From what's possible, I'm okay with it. They couldn't get McGregor on the card. It is what it is. I think Edson versus Emmett is a prelim opener and Lopez versus Nate or Billy Q on the early prelims. Lopez versus Nate, I think. Biggie Boy Lewis, about time we got the mirror match. True. That's also a good idea. Quick prayer for Miller to fluke his way to the title. Amuse me, love. Thank you for the two pounds. You know what else would be good? Lewis versus Volkov too on the prelims of UFC 300. I'd love that matchup as well. I think that'd be a sick matchup on the prelims. <clears throat> 